These spirits are testing me. They're forcing me to confront all of my strongest opponents. And also Arcana is here. Boo in America. Boo, man. Dark energy disks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Yugi, now it's time you faced all the guilt you feel for taking my soul and sentencing me to an eternity of... Nah. Behold, the denizens of the afterlife are transgressing into the mortal realm. Your friend's spirit is arriving to pass his dark judgment upon the pharaoh. Ugh, no, Grandpa, you can't sleep at the foot of the bed tonight. Yugi, is it really you? I'm so excited I could just throw my arm at you in a totally unnatural fashion. Oh, how very unexpected. That's right, Pharaoh. I'm a spooky ghost now. I'm like Danny Phantom, only without the whole being alive part. I do not know this Daniel Phantom of which you speak, but Yugi, you must listen. I came here to apologize. I wasn't thinking when I activated the seal of Orichalcos. It was short-sighted of me. I used to be the king of games, but now, standing here before you, all I am is the king of shames. You know what? Raphael was right about you. You are evil. What? Think about it, Pharaoh. All this time we thought you were the big hero. That you were gonna save the world and make everything okay. But then you crossed a line that should never be crossed. I apologized for using the seal of Orichalcos. Not that. You tried to sacrifice Dark Magician Girl and nobody. And I mean nobody treats my trading card waifu like that. Wait, where did you get that dual disc? I summoned it from the spirit realm. Does this mean dual discs have souls as well? What, is Kaiba sacrificing virgins to make these things? Seems to me the only one with a history of sacrificing people is you, Pharaoh. So, you're a virgin. Is that seriously what you got from that? I hope they make out. Taya. Sorry, I mean, I hope they make up by shoving their tongues down each other's throats. Hey, Pharaoh, know what time it is? Well, I don't have a watch on me, but judging by the position of the sun in the sky, I'd say it's around two in the- It's time to duel! Oh, come on, how did I not get that? I set this monster face down and end my turn. Gazelle, king of mythical beasts, attack his face down monster! Wait, your card was also a gazelle? That's right. Our hands are identical because we are identical. Do you know what this means, Yugi? It means you can't beat me because for once you're playing an opponent that you can't outsmart. No, it means we forgot to shuffle. You know how you're supposed to shuffle before you duel someone? We forgot to do that bit. Uh... You wanna start over? No need. Not if I play card destruction. Now I can throw my cards away and draw a new hand altogether. Kinda like how you discarded me, huh, Pharaoh? All I did was activate a card that required me to give away your soul and then- Oh, okay, yeah, seeing it now. That's pretty much bang on, yeah. Look at you, always playing the hero. But you weren't just playing with cards this time, Pharaoh. You were playing with people's souls, people's lives. So what kind of a hero? Hero, does that make you, huh? How do you justify what you did back there in that duel? Well, I'm sure the fandom has several theories as to why what I did was perfectly okay. Really? Well, here's a theory I came up with. I call it, what happens when Yugi Moto activates the seal of Auric Alcos? Well, the title seems a little on the nose, but- Wait, no! Yugi, you mustn't do this! Yugi activated the seal of Auric Alcos! Now, if the Pharaoh loses, his soul will remain trapped here with Yugi's soul for eternity! God, I hope their souls make out. <laughs> now I'm the main character, mother f What the f*** even is this season?